this in a long time my big waste of money uh, Schecter custom shop stupid uh, what's his name sinister gates I mean are these guys even around I don't know I bought this back in like whenever I got one of my settlements for uh, not the big accident, but I was in like three others after that because of, well, let's just say I have a hard time seeing everything. So I would get hit a lot on this side. Or things I would see coming, or I wouldn't see coming out of this side because I'm blind mostly in this eye. Like, beep, there. I can see here. But here, back, no. So, uh, luckily for me, it's always been their fault. And the last time the settlement was, you know, my car, uh, the blue book was 20 something. Uh, no, it was almost 20,000, plus they threw on an, another six. I got 26,000 for uh, a guy ripping out of the back. It was ripping out backwards from his driveway because he just got in an argument. He just came home. And his wife said, why did you park there? I'm getting ready to leave. He's like, Arr! so he gets in his car and he just, poof, wham, and he hits me. And I had already stopped, slammed on my brakes because this idiot just walked in front of me, dar -da -dar, all stoned. I'd come to know this guy later because he gave uh, three testimonies or whatever of what he heard, or first is what he heard because he didn't see anything. The second time, he actually saw and heard. And the third time, he was standing right out on the street and saw everything and chased after me because he thought I was trying to get away because I was swerving down the street because he thought I was drunk. No, because your dumb neighbor, when he hit me, pushed the tire out like that. So I was trying to keep the car from smacking into the parked cars and there was nothing but parked cars, and I couldn't stop the car because it also had hurt the brake. Brake lines were, were severed. <laughs> so I had to go, and then I pulled over off a of side street, and these two guys come running up, like, where are you going? I'm like, nowhere, dude. What the hell's going on? And da 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 da. It's not that exciting, really. Well, what's the stupid thing is, like, I started to go into shock because. This is like a couple years after the big accident. So I'm like, I gotta get home. So I start trying to drive the car home with this one tire sticking out, skidding all the way home, like leaving breadcrumbs back to the house. So I realized what I was doing and stopped like a half a block from the house, called the cops and told them the whole thing. They're like, okay, we're looking for you. I go, well, here I am, I'm right at this address. I just realized what I was doing. I'm in shock, and I'll explain when you get here. He's all right. Just don't move. I go. I won't. I'll be outside of the car and everything. He's okay. And they were really cool for once, because it was older cops. All the younger cops in Burbank. There's a song that N.W.A. does. That's oh, that's for you, for all the young scumbag cops in in Burbank. There's bad cops everywhere. I'm telling you. Just like bad everybody. There's bad. Eh. There's a, all the politicians are bad, but there's bad cops, there's bad firemen, there's bad paramedics. No one's perfect but me. No. No one's perfect but him. Okay, so, don't want to get caught up in anything. 
I'm sure you're all just thinking, wow, that's a nice guitar. <laughs> jumbo frets. I don't like this guy's plane anyway. The only reason I bought it is at the time I thought the stripes were cool, but it was a Sustaniac. That's the only reason. And this is the big, this is the high, you know, good, because there's just Sustaniacs that sustain, and then there's ones that you have a pitch where you can go up one or two harmonics. It'll give you harmonic level, like the one that's on now is the two Okay, so, I always say that, queso, cheese. All right, just to wrap up the creature, vital attraction thing, because no, everybody stopped watching, and then they started watching when I talked about, when I was talking about getting in a fight with my girlfriend. So the whole thing was, the thing that pissed me off is, you know, okay, my girlfriend saw me. She didn't know that what I did, you got to go back, 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 where we were at the Troubadour, and I was, you know, put on the list. So apparently, Trix must have been in the band, or maybe it was just Johnny Lust, because he also did it. Because we were kind of, you know, I like Johnny Lust and Trix, but I've been friends with Trix since M elementary. This is Creature. So, went to the show. My girlfriend knew I hated the singer. I didn't mind the band. They were okay. I thought mine was better. <laughs> but the songs, my songs, and uh, the show and everything, all they were was a, a, a kiss type thing. But they didn't have the songs. They had some good songs. And Trix, I think, from what I remember, was the one that wrote most of the good songs, like uh, Too Many Girls. That's, that's a good song. It's the only one I can remember, though. So, anyway, so when she ran up the stairs, I was walking up behind her, she ran over to this idiot and, you know, me, 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 got makeup all over her just so she'd think, you know, like, and then we brawled. So nothing ever happened, even though he claims that he was with all of our girlfriend. No, he wasn't. He wasn't with any, well, like I said, I don't know. He wasn't with mine. He wasn't with Johnny's. I know that. And he wasn't with the drummers because didn't have girlfriend. He had a boyfriend. So if he was with him, no, he wouldn't be because they were very loyal to each other. So, I don't like that Billy B. Dick. So, yeah, it got me pissed, but, you know, whatever. But just to go on, 
I would do this, which this would happen all the time with not okay, so like that the crazy chick, the span the Mexican Spanish crazy girl that I was with. I mean she was like my main girlfriend, not my my love, but my main squeeze for six or seven years, the one that I'd go to, I'd we'd live together and whatever. But I also had twenty other girlfriends. Literally twenty. And then if I had to, you know, cut it way down, I had 12. And I and I, didn't need, I just, at that time, I wanted, you know, a different girl all the time. I got bored easy. And if one pissed me off, I'd go to the other one. Da, 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 da. And sometimes, you know, they would find out that, you know, they think that I would dislike this band, but they wouldn't know who in the band I disliked. So they just run to any of somebody. So there's one girl... That, I'd piss her off. She'd run the tricks because he was in Creature. And she'd sleep with him. And Tricks would tell me. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Then she'd come back and she'd, I need you. Well, I don't care. See ya. No, please. Ah! Beg, beg, beg. Money, 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 money. Okay. You're back in for now. Because of the money. And then she pissed me off again. See ya. She run back to Tricks. It's stupid. What girls, what kind of girls do that crap? So, you know, to me, it's just uh, another uh, skid tramp, as me and Rudy called them. So, yeah, back then, you really didn't have, like, oh, like, Brett Michaels was stupid. He would fall in love with girls all the time. You can't do that, man. It's just not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to, it's not going to hold. So, you know, I just, once me and my wife separated I was done trying to find a serious girlfriend until after I got out of the business and even then it took me a little while but now of course you know but uh yeah back then it was a free for all and I was with thousands of girls literally I'm not just saying that I would sleep with these girls and their boyfriends would call and I'd, I'm like who are you talking to oh this guy isn't he in this band or that band? Yeah, be quiet. And then I'd cough or I'd say something. Hey, babe, you're my, <laughs> my dick's dry or whatever. Something. Who's that in the background? Nobody. It's the TV. So there's this one drummer guy. He can't play drums at all. He actually auditioned for Fatal Attraction three times. And then the third time and we kicked him out for good. Like, please don't come back and audition. He drove up. He had his... Rody show up, set up the drums, then he had audition, fail, Rody would stay, take down the drums, and then he would come up on his, you know, girly Harley, the smaller ones. So he's like, okay, fine. You know, I guess third time, strike out, man, you know. I'm, I'm out of here. My Rody will take care of my set. I'm like, a set that he got from being a Rody for the drummer for Hurricane. Now this guy will know who he is if he's watching this. So then he gets on his Harley to make his dramatic exit, and it won't start. I'm like, kick it. He goes, oh, uh, um, I go, dude, just roll down the street and then pop the clutch, you know, pop, it should start. So all the way down this, the hill, pop, blah, 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 blah. pop, blah, 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 blah. pop, blah, blah, blah. he did this for three blocks until he was out of our sight. And I'm like, this is priceless. Anyways, he he gets a, good, a new girlfriend. And he said some crap about my wife, my first wife, which wasn't true. And I told her, and she was, she was going to kill him because the guy's a jerk. But I said, don't worry about it because his new girlfriend is one of my old girlfriends. And we had a stormy past, not like the Mexican. The Hispanic one, we'll call her. Pie. That's right. We're calling her Pie. So this one was another one. It was, uh, she was too young. Made a mistake. I got her pregnant. She didn't tell me. She just tells her mom, and her mom calls me from the, the place, you know, cussing me out at like 9 in the morning. You made her. Da, 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 da. I go, what? She's pregnant? Why didn't you tell me so I could, you know, be in on this? You have no right. I go, I'm not, I got no right. That's my baby too. 
You can, uh, you can hear from me. I go, yeah, if I ever see you, I'll kill you. Bye. Click. And that was that. That was the girl that this guy was now with. So I'm driving down Sunset, and I see them two together. I'm like, hey, Dick. We'll just say his name is. And he looks, and she looks, and she sees me. She goes, Michael. And he's like, you know him? That's my ex-boyfriend. And I'm just like, oh, he's going to be pissed. So, you know, whatever. I'm like, good. Got him. So then I was with another nerd. Another nerd. Another girl that, you know, met somewhere. I can't remember. Oh, the rainbow. Yeah, obviously. Went back to her house. We'll just call her the nurse. And the nurse was dating, like, me and... Well, I think I was more of a, a bang. Cause she just, like, she saw me and she's like, I gotta have you. I know your your reputation is, is horrible. You cheat on everybody. I'm like, well, whatever. It's up to you. Go home or not. No, please. So, she, you know. so for, you know, a couple of months, I was going to her place, like, every weekend. Or a couple of nights during the week. But she was a nurse, so she had weird hours. So I'm laying in bed. It's like 9 in the morning. The phone rings, and she's like, Oh, well, now I can't talk now. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, Who's that? Your boyfriend? She goes, No, no, just a guy that just won't leave me alone. I'm like, Well, who is he? Tell me, who in their right mind is up at 9 in the morning? My head's killing me. So, you know, I grab a beer, blah, 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 blah. go over, get some cold pizza. Like, it was all on the bed. <laughs> and, uh, it's that guy. It's the drummer dick. And I'm like, so he goes by another name. He went by another name, started with R. But I knew his real name. So I kept saying his real name. Hey! Hey! We'll just say Dick. And he's like, who's that? Who's there? Who's in there? You got someone with you? I thought I was your boyfriend. I love you. I'm like, ha 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 ha. This guy just cannot win. I mean, it's great. Because these girl, he would go after girls that were just way out of his league. And he, if he ever got them, he got them with money. Because he was a little spoiled brat. And his parents would just throw money at him. So that's how he got gir some girls. Most girls he didn't get. And he was never really in any bands because he can't play. He cannot play drunk. So that was two times I... But that happened a lot. You know, I'd be laying in this girl's bed, phone would ring. Oh, it's my boyfriend. I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. But one time it happened. This is, one, this is a good one. So I'm laying on the couch because that's where we went to sleep. She lived right on Sunset. And uh, she worked for Jet Records. As a matter of fact, that's why I got all my where I got all my information. Like if somebody else claims to get all their information, or that they knew people. Blah blah. It's because his old girlfriend worked for Jet Records, and he seems to forget that the girl that I was with, who he introduced me to through his girlfriend, worked there too. So I knew all the I know all the bull crap that he says is a lie because, yeah, I was I was there. But whatever. So anyways, going back to the girl. And we, I, she was actually a waitress at the Rainbow. So that's hard to get those because they won't mess. And Mario tells them, don't sleep with the client. You know, don't sleep with any of them because they're just they're scumbags and they'll just screw you over. Blah, blah, blah. This one girl, she's obviously likes me. And I don't have a name for her because her real name was just so perfect. So, let's call her Happy Feeler. <laughs> the Happy Feeler. Something Happy Feeler. Leslie Happy Feeler. Okay. So, Leslie Happy Feeler, we're, we're on, and you know, it's like 10 in the morning, 11. We're getting ready to go out shopping. She always likes to go shopping every time for some reason. We go down to that. Beverly Center 
And so I would just, you know, she goes, don't get too, you know, because you look perfect. I go, I got to straighten some stuff out and, you know, makeup and hair and da-da-da. I'm like, okay, sh -sh -sh, ready, let's go. So we're getting ready to leave and her boyfriend calls. Not a real, like, just like a, like a thing. What do you call him? Like a, not a boyfriend. And she knew it. She was the, she was the girl on the side because this guy was engaged to... Lita Ford engaged to, and it wasn't Chris Holmes. This is after. So she goes, "You gotta go." I'm like, "Why?" Tony's coming over. I go, "Tony who?" She goes, "Tony Iommi." I'm like, "What?" Oh no, no, please, 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 let me stay and meet him, please. She's like, "No, no, 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 no." She, he's he's very jealous. I'm like, "Very jealous." He's very engaged to Lita Ford, and he's got you know. Ah. She's like, no, 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 please go, please, please, I'm sorry, you know, we'll, I'll call you later, because this won't take long. I'm like, yeah, I'll see you in a couple days, let you air out. So, I left, but I waited out front, because she said he'd be coming up in his rolls. So, all I had to look for was a rolls pulling up to these apartments, and uh, here he is, pulls up, and gets out. I'm like, holy crap. So I'm just sitting there, leaning against the wall. And I'm like, hey, oh, uh, Tony Iommi. He's like, yeah, and you are? And I'm like, Michael D. He goes, Michael D. He's like, Michael D. I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, good to meet you. I go, I'm a guitar player, too. He's like, oh. I'm like, you're one of my influences, definitely, man. I mean, metal. You're the godfather of metal guitar. He goes, well, thank you very much. I go, okay, uh, you live here? He goes, no, no, a friend lives here. I'm stopping by to pay a, a, a visit and possibly uh, a cup of tea, you know. I'm like, okay, uh, I hate to trouble you, but can I, well, hey, wait a minute, do you have a guitar pick? He goes, I, what, wouldn't you rather have an autograph? I'm like, I don't have a pen. He goes, I don't either. Uh, oh, but I have a pick. Yeah, here. I'm like, all right, this is way better. And he goes, if you want, yeah. So that's how I got my Tony Iommi Black Sabbath guitar pick. And he was very cool. And so, yeah, me and Tony were, we had the same uh, chick friend. So that, we'll just leave it at that, because rival bands, there was no rival. Trick or Treat, we slayed everybody. With Fatal Attraction, we were pretty dang good. We were friends with some bands, like, tough. I wasn't friends with anybody, because I just didn't... It wasn't my thing. I would, you know, get off stage, give me a drink, a girl, I'm not, and I'm out of here. I don't want to hang around and talk to other bands. But Trey did. He liked to do that. So he was a, he was friends with Stevie from Tough. And he's got that metal sludge thing. So they ask these questions, you know. Do you like this or this? This or this? And there's a right and wrong answer to all of them. So one of the questions he always asks is, Fatal Attraction or Creature? And they know there's a wrong answer. And nobody... Only one person ever said Creature. And I think it was a guy from Creature. I'm not sure. But everybody always said, Oh, Fatal Attraction, man. Or Show. And man, you're freaking badass. You know, look it up. If you don't believe me? Look up the 10 question thing or whatever it is. When they throw that question out. Always Fatal Attraction. That right there. What up? So Stevie uh, Rachel, I think. Stevie Rachel. Only reason I can re remember that is I have a cousin named that. And he apparently is a nice guy. So there you go.